uh, we used to take the decisions as i said uh, by providing the list of features if you already covered the machine learning course over there we used to extract the features uh, for example if we need to recognize the uh, face based on the given images uh, we can do it by using like we used to extract the features of the face so what are the main features of the face that we can use for example like shape of the eye the size of the eye size of the nose uh, size of the lips or shape of the lips color of the face and size of the face so these are the features that we use to extract from the images and then we, before like before taking the decision we used to give a lot of data along with the labels for the machine learning algorithm and based on that the system used to learn by itself by using a specific uh, algorithm like multi-layer perceptron, sport vector machine, naive bias, and there are so many algorithms available for the machine learning. And when the system used to learn, after that we used to go for the uh, for the like uh, giving the features as an input without giving the label. And based on the features, system used to recognize that this image is uh, belong to who what is the name of that person who has this image or something like this. So this is just a, uh, an example of a machine learning algorithm. Next is deep learning. Deep learning is actually, we can say, a subfield of machine learning because in deep learning, we used to do the same sort of classification or decision making by using some sort of data and data, that data used to be trained but what is the difference between the machine learning and the deep learning? In machine learning, we used to extract the features by our own or by using the by using a separate algorithm or code. Uh, when we used to extract the feature, then we used to go for the classification algorithm. But for the deep learning, we don't need to extract the features. So the feature extraction part used to be skipped and we used to give the data as an input directly and the deep learning based algorithms some uh, for example convolutional neural network they use to extract the features by itself and then even they go for the classification process also i mean typical machine learning algorithms we have to extract the features manually while in the deep learning based which is a subtype of machine learning over there we can skip the part of feature extraction